L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti has declared a state of emergency as films leave for states with better financial incentives. The state of emergency? Because filmmakers left? Emergencies used to be things like big natural disasters. Now it's a state of emergency when businesses flee an expensive state? They don't blame the movie makers. California has great weather, but it also has expensive union work rules and high taxes. So where should the movie producer go? Well, the producer's privileged because movies are a sexy business, and 42 states offer movie producers incentives if they'll film in that state. I think Gavin Pallone would like that. He's a Hollywood producer who's produced TV shows like Curb Your Enthusiasm, The Gilmore Girls, also movies like Panic Room and more recently Zombieland. So, Gavin, you're one of the privileged ones. I think you'd like these rules. What do you think wrong? I think these rules uh, are bad economics and they're unfair to taxpayers and I think they should be abolished. Why? Well, <clears throat> first of all, they don't make any economic sense. The incentives that they provide return less on a per dollar basis uh, than what they're putting out. So the state of Rhode Island did a study and they got back 28 cents for every dollar they spent. So Connecticut did a study that showed that they got back 8 cents for every dollar that they spent. But they keep spending. A few states have pulled back. The biggest credit used to be the state of Michigan, 42%, but now they've cut that back to 27%. The current leaders are Ohio, Louisiana, Georgia, North Carolina. You've taken your crews to some of these places. Absolutely. I have a responsibility to produce the best movie I can and to get movies going. And often that means I have to go and take advantage of tax incentives. But I know it's wrong. It needs to end. Look at this commercial that ran in Michigan after people criticized Michigan's film tax credit. There are those who say the Michigan film tax credit only benefits Hollywood. I have a few friends here who beg to differ. What it's really about is jobs. Over 6,000 in the past two years alone. It's about people who dream of living and working in their home state who we can't afford to lose. The Michigan Film Tax Credit. Keep it rolling. It's about people who dream of working in their home state. Gavin, you want them to lose their jobs? Well, you know, I don't think the government should be funding uh, in specific industries. Uh, you know, basically, there are these incentives in 42 states, which just really turns into 42 different cylindras all over the country. You're unusual in Hollywood to hold these positions. Do you have any friends? Oh, uh, yeah. I, you know, I, I feel like uh, people do let you, you know, voice your opinion, and nobody's going to really hold it against me. I seem to continue to work. And we've been talking about states, competing against states. It's countries, too. The, the producer of Avatar... John Landau uh, says there's no place in the world that we would make these sequels more cost-effectively than New Zealand. And they're making all four movies. They've done one halfway around the world. Yeah. I know John, and he's a great producer. Um, and if I were in his situation, I would do the same thing. But ultimately, it's unfair trade practices. And what we should do is abolish all of these trade practices here in the United States, not subsidize other industries that we currently subsidize, and then penalize countries like New Zealand who are competing with us unfairly. And let's get the rest of the world to do it all on a level playing field. And if we did it all on a level playing field, the crews and workers and people here in Southern California would always win out because we have the best in the world. And the, the only way weather. that somebody can compete with us, the only and the, you know, obviously, and in the only way that you know the the crews and the infrastructure in the United States can be competed with, is by a government writing a check to somebody in order to equalize it, and that's wrong. That's bad trade. That's not capitalism. And New Zealand taxpayers are being punished for this because they have to pay for these subsidies. Thank you, Gavin. Exactly, exactly. and it all comes from somewhere. Thank you, Gavin Pollan. You're an honorable man to criticize policies that bring you money. Coming up.